on the trail at Edwin Warner Park here in Nashville. This is actually my first hike since I got back in September. So I expect that I will be winded really quickly, out of shape, um, but that's okay. It's a brisk day. I think it's 28 degrees. There's mud. Um, so I've got all the clothes that I think I'll be bringing on my hike um, prepared for cold weather. So we'll see. The only thing I don't have on right now are my gloves and I've been on the trail 60 seconds and my hands are already cold. So I'm gonna put those on before my fingers are cold so that my hands will stay warm. And I'll update you as far as what clothes I'm wearing and all that fun stuff. I'm meeting up with French Fry, who's a woman I met on the trail last year. I'll explain that in a little bit, but I wanna get my gloves on. Uh, but I'm here on the trail and really looking forward to getting my training up and running so I can actually accomplish a through hike this year. So I can do it. Well, that felt really good. Um, I'm going to introduce French Fry in just a little bit. I'm going to follow her and head back to her house. And uh, she's a girl I met at the NOC last year. Um, so my fingers were cold. Um, I have these gloves. I think I need to rethink. But I really wasn't winded, and um, I think I'm going to be okay, get in shape a lot faster than I did last year. Um, but yeah, it felt good to be out here. It's about 28 degrees, so it is cold. So I'm going to head over to French Fry's house, warm up, test out my waterproof socks, <laughs> and see if they are indeed waterproof. Okay, so now I'm back in the truck. And uh, yeah, so it's about 28 degrees, according to my phone's weather report. My fingers, they started off cold, you know, because I had I was using the camera, so my fingers got cold, and we know that once they're cold, putting on gloves doesn't really warm them up so much, so that's mistake one. I They did warm up as we were hiking, so that's good, but then when we stopped and we were just heading back to the cars, they were cold again. So what I have <laughs> are two, so here's these silver liners here, um, Sirius, Sirius, S-E-I-R, US. Um, got them at Dick Sporting Goods and they're supposed to be that reflective, you know, like to reflect the heat back into your hands. So I don't know. So I put those on and then these I got at Neil Gap last year. These are outdoor research and um, the person there who did a shakedown with me told me that these are the best. They're going to keep my hands warm. And then he sold me a pair of rain mittens to put on top. He said between these for warmth and the rain mittens to keep them dry. I'll be all set. But no sooner did I leave there and I really didn't face a lot of cold weather and I never had to use that combination. So I really didn't have or still don't have any reference. But I'm not real impressed. My fingertips are cold, so I do need to rethink the glove situation. And um, I'll talk about the rest of my clothing and stuff later. Right now, I'm going to head over to uh, French Fry's house. Oh. All right, so I am here at French Fry's house. And we're filling her bathtub with ice cold water. All right, can I introduce you, French fry? Hi. There we go. So, oh, the light. I'm sorry. No, the, it's the sun. <laughs> we're standing at the. Um, so I don't know what video it was, but when we were, when I was climbing out of the NOC last year in tears and lamenting that there were no, no offense, no middle-aged women, <laughs> at least no that I was meeting. Here, sit this way because of the light. Um, and now you're in the. Oh. There we go. <laughs> and down comes French fry hobbling down the hill that I was hobbling up. And I was so excited to meet somebody around my age. Yeah. But you were going home. Yeah, my knee didn't work anymore. No, bad knee. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk in a little bit, all right? But right now, um, <laughs> she's filling up her bathtub with cold water. I hope it's cold enough. It'll be, it's not going to be as cold as rain check. and ice. You check. Um, so my waterproof boot, uh, waterproof socks. Okay. So these are my new waterproof socks. I got them at REI. But before I get out on the trail and find out that they're really not waterproof, I would rather find out here <laughs> in that tub. <laughs> there you go. All right. So we went for a hike today, but it's cold, mm -hmm. but not wet. So we're going to find out if these... REI socks. I will. I'll put the text in here. I'll put a link of what socks they are because I don't remember the name of them. <laughs> more, more, more. Okay. So it 
shouldn't feel too cold. I don't know if they're going to be I can feel that my feet are cool, so I can tell that I'm not standing in warm water, but they're not cold by any stretch. I actually had to feel it with my fingers. So it's been you know, a good minute and a half now. They don't feel wet and they don't feel cold. So this is good. And I won't be standing in water, but if we are hiking, so French fry is gonna be hiking too. Where are you? Where'd you go? There you are. <laughs> um, yep. Um, so we're not gonna be standing in water, but if it's rain slush. and slush and ice, and um, then it's possible. I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna play with your rubber ducky. What is it, a rubber? <laughs> Oh, rubber ducky, you're the one. Hi. You make that Okay, so let's have a bathroom talk. So, <laughs> French fry. Um, I, I, I'm going to guess how you got your name, but tell us. One, French fries make everything better. Yes. See, I Fast. knew I liked you yes. for a reason. And I had these lovely dirty girl gators <laughs> that I wore last year on my attempt and the very first night. At Hawk Mountain, somebody went, hey, you are deemed French fry for the rest of your life. And you make everything better. And it could be worse. So it's I'll, good, take, it's, I'll take French fry. You let me grab it. Do one before it's too yeah. embarrassing. Yeah. Because I fell a lot. So it could have been so, like tumbleweeds yeah. or something. So you something. said that you tried last year. Mm -hmm. So talk to us about last year. When did you start and what happened and what are your goals for this year? Last year, I took off on the 18th. Of? March and <laughs> my daughter D, who is 22 at the time, she and I were gonna go for seven weeks per her schedule but off work. And it was cold, it was bad, it was awful. And she decided that she's really not the camping kind, she's the hiking kind. Okay. So she left me on day eight and I continued on, but I hit some nasty, nasty ice and did the splits and my knee went, nope, all done. Where yeah. were you then? Uh, that was day six. So where? And gosh, I wanna say we were at maybe Unicoi Gap. Okay. I have to go back and look at all my notes. Mm -hmm. And I continued on, I made it 10 more days. And then the day I had to come down to the NOC, mm -hmm. that lovely, what is it, like 46 Tele down to 17 or something. or something? Or something. Some kind of, oh, that's a killer. And that's when I decided, I, I've got to go home. I can't mm -hmm. do any more downhills. Yeah, and that's when I saw you mm -hmm. the next day, right? Yeah. Well, I came home for a month to rest my knee, and then I went back to the NOC all excited, thinking yeah. I could do it, and I got up to the first shelter, that straight up climb. That's like seven Sassy and a half miles. Grass. Yes. And laid there all night, and it just got worse and worse and worse. And I thought, you know what? It's not fixed yet. Mm -hmm. i got to turn around and go back home. So how is it now? It's great now. Yeah. But I am going to wear probably those little braces mm -hmm. from the get-go this Absolutely. time, just to make sure nothing even yeah. kind of gets out of whack. So we hiked only a little bit today, but mm -hmm. how do they feel now? After it feels that? great. Yeah, Good. no issues. Yay! All that elevation at uh, Border Parks. Oh, Nashville. yeah. It was it 10 feet high. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, did you get a Stairmaster or something? But um, So when are you leaving this time? What this time I'm heading down to Ella J, Georgia on the 20th to uh -huh. spend the night and then my daughter's gonna drop me off. Hopefully it's Springer if we can get oh, February. on the roads. Yes. So. I just assume that everybody yeah. knows exactly what no, I'm talking about. No, March 20th. <laughs> I know. You know, yeah. And so hopefully I won't have to take off at Amicalola just because I want to just, I only have a limited amount of sure. time on my schedule. Right. But as of right now, if I can do it, I'm going all the way. Yay! You can do Yay. it. You can do Starting it. Starting slow, same Ab with the knee. Yes, absolutely. Rock on. Live and learn. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> okay, update. It's been, oh, we should have timed it, but 
good five minutes, no? Okay, five minutes standing in the bathtub and my feet still feel only slightly cool, like not uncomfortable at all, not cold. And I can't tell if they're dry, but I have socks, like liners, and my darn tops actually. Um, so when we take these off, they'll be like layer, one. layer one, layer two are my toesies. Drum roll. All right, so the outside is absolutely soaked, obviously. And I will get the name of these socks. I just have the packaging and stuff at home. Oh, they're tight fit though, I'll tell you that. Let me see. Oh my God. Sorry for any stink. Socks are completely dry. These are completely dry. Nice. Wow. Thumbs up. Oh, here we are. Showers pass. Can you zoom in on this? Showers pass um, is the name of it. And I bought them at REI in the bicycle department, actually. So um, I don't know why that, but wow. I'll be bringing those. Definitely. Thanks for letting me use the bathroom. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> you just wanted to see me. Yes. <laughs> Rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bath time lots of fun. Rubber ducky, I'm awfully fond of you. Bo -bo -bo -dio. Rubber ducky, joy of joy. When I squeeze you, you make no